Fancy. This is all 3D printed stuff? Yeah. Wow. Hey. How's it going? Look at that. Let's test fit these things. Yeah. So, fully 3D printed body. Uh, I've been waiting on these for a hot minute. We've been going through a bunch of different designs and everything. And yeah, it's cool how they were able to print the whole thing out. And um, so this is the one side. Jimmy's not here to see it all, but you still kind of get a quick idea on how it's gonna look. All right, something like that. Yeah. It's big. Big, big. big, big girl. Yeah. yeah. These ones are for the back. Oh, I mean, it's so it's a three-piece yeah, yeah. deal for the front. That one's on the farthest part of the back, and this is the one that follows right along the door. It's gonna take some fitment, mm -hmm. just some tweaking a little bit. Yeah, yeah. So that's the the basic. You know, right? We're gonna need our, our boy Jimmy to. Yeah, I know he's finish gonna finish off for us. <laughs> Body guy, we need you, bud. No, he's um, yeah, he's a killer of stuff. Piece that goes on that yeah, sure. I know that's the cool part. Yeah, so that guy sits somewhere like that. So that'll live on it, and as you lift it up, you'll be able to see the underside of the tire. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So when you lift the hood up, it'll be like. So we just got our brand new, fresh Rotiform Motorsport WGRM rims. These are going to be going on the Ultimaniac, and just incredibly beautiful looking wheel we went with this one because it's got that cool like motorsport dtm ish kind of face but it still has a little bit of dish and then just did like a nice awesome uh matte gray it's actually anthracite shouldn't say gray it's anthracite um color on it to like really just give it like that that matte just monotone look and it's really really cool that they build all these wheels custom for us each one of them built by hand and you know whatever color option we want the hardware color uh, the width, the offset, the bolt pattern, everything. And so these guys have just been super easy to work with and just love the fact that we can get exactly what we want for the build. And so we went with a cool three piece setup on this wheel uh, for this car because it's a bit of a party car. And we're gonna be doing like custom monoblocks like the GLTC car on some of the race cars. Okay, brand new rims, don't mess it up. <laughs> Perfect. All right. Gonna slap on these new Smart Shot Max knuckles onto the Ultima. It's a new version, we just got them. Time to check them out. is done there you go new knuckles on fancy she's got the shop looking like a smurf Arts and Crafts Hour over here with Jimmy. Let's 
See that up there, Lacey? I was like so clear and like single layer up right against the flange. Yeah, up in there. It's like not the, see all this squiggle stuff in here? That's like, like cardboard. Yeah, There's so an inner spray. layer. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, this stuff. So this doesn't have it, which in turn is like Oof. gummy as can be. And this is like really the only mounting for this quarter. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking I'm going to like lay some of that like other epoxy stuff that I got to like give this some rigidity on the top. But I'm not able to use this heat set formula stuff that I just got because if I put heat on this thin stuff, it's like ronk. It like pulls like super quick. So this is all new information. <laughs> it's uh, yeah. Hour sand time, five hour paint time, or no, five hour cure, one hour paint. It's like it's pretty fast. It's a 3M product, which I've never used before, but this stuff's all good. So I was thinking I'm gonna do that on the inner piece of that for that rigidity. That's nice one again. No, that's what I said. It like so we're just talking about <laughs> permeates your clothing. So that was the abbreviated uh, update on the body panels from Jimmy. Um, Got to glue everything up, make it stronger. Um, but yeah, so Ultima is coming together. Dylan welded up uh, our outlets on the turbos last night, so they're cooling down. And um, <clears throat> Jimmy's on the body and we're finishing up some hoses and the wiring we're waiting on still. Jimmy, is that an access hole? What'd you do? Yeah, I made an access hole. Weight reduction. Exactly. Now this is how I transfer some holes, Dodd. Making over here, Jimmy. What, what do you want now? Oh my God, Kegel, look, I'm drilling a hole. It's freaking so cold, dude. I'm sure you catch that. <laughs> what are you welding? A bracket. Why don't you do something useful and give me a hammer? <laughs> this guy. Ow! <laughs> yeah, real funny. Arts and crafts time, Jimmy over here. Jimmy, it's a clean cut, man. Big old hole. Well, it ain't that clean. Sharp. Like pro. Yeah. Thanks for that. But also, go f yourself. <laughs> Just gonna wrap up this the rest of this body stuff, and then we can like start working on the goods. Darren Bell. just got here, and he's already napping on the job. Yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah, he never answered me about like having the cars align. On Sunday? Yeah, is that, is that you do it here? And so he has like a traveling laser kit or something. Oh, you weren't here for the last time you did it, huh? No. Yeah. I'm just hoping I don't poke a drill bit right on the outside of these panels. Woo!